大家好,我是Suran在中国 Hello everyone, I'm Surant in China and thank you for joining me on the channel today and thanks to everybody who's hit that subscribe button and thrown me a thumbs up it is really helping and the more we do that the more it's going to help the channel to grow thank you, thank you, thank you now, let's talk about something much more interesting grocery shopping Yes, I'm not kidding. I said that. Grocery shopping. Now, in Canada, grocery shopping was a pain in the ass. Even if you had a car, most people would go grocery shopping once a week, maybe once every two weeks, because it was just so annoying to drive across town, or if you didn't have a car, to take that bus and haul all those groceries back home with you, pay the $20, $30, $40 to go take a taxi or an Uber back and forth. It was expensive, it was annoying, and you usually ended up buying a bunch of food all at one time, and you'd hope to eat it all before it went bad. That is not the case here in China. Here in China, and I'm not kidding you, in every community you live in, you can walk outside your front door and find fresh produce, fresh meat, dry goods such as rice, noodles, etc., etc., sauces, oils, condiments, salt, pepper, etc. within two minutes of walking. Two. I can literally show you and I will show you that I can buy all of those fresh goods within two minutes of my house in five different places. Five. I'm not even kidding you. All in my community within a block. Wait till you see this in the video. So I don't need to go out and say, okay, what am I going to eat for the week? I'm going to get this vegetable for this day and this vegetable for this day and this fruit for this day and this meat for this day. No. I go downstairs and I go to the market and say, what do I want to eat today? I'd like some fresh beef. I tell the man what I want. He slices me some fresh beef. He wraps it up. Then I go, what vegetable do I want to eat with this beef? I want some green peppers and some cucumber today. Okay, so I grab a little of that. Hmm, I might want something sweet in the evening. How about a couple fresh peaches and a couple apples? What if I want something in the morning when I wake up? Well, we'll get a banana too. Then, well, I'm running low on rice, so I'm going to get a little bag of rice and a little bottle of soy sauce because I'm just about out. Done. I go home, I've got my food for the day, and then the next day, I get up, I walk two minutes from my front door, and I do it all over again. There's no need for me to go and buy a ton of food in order to eat for a week for the sake of convenience, and I love this. Now, if I want to travel a little further, five minutes walk from my house, then I can go to one of the bigger supermarkets. You know very similar to the supermarkets we have back home where there are frozen goods, where there are a huge selection of drinks and dry goods and all manner of different bulk goods, things of that nature. And that's five minutes walk from my home. I never need to take a bus or a taxi to get fresh food in China. And just to show you what I'm talking about, let's take a look at that in today's video. All right, people, time for me to put my money where my mouth is. I told you that within two minutes of leaving my apartment, that's the entrance to my apartment right there, I can go buy fresh produce, fresh meat, fresh groceries for everything I need to eat in a day. So let's see. Let's see what I actually can find within two minutes of my front door. Let's go. All right, so we're walking through the complex here. I'm going to include this as well. I could cheat a little bit and start the video at the actual exit to my compound. And as I've mentioned in past videos, most apartment complexes are closed units. They are gated communities with security. This over here is one of two uh, garbage and recycling facilities where you can recycle food waste, residual waste, which I think they meant to say a residential waste, metal, plastic, paper, glass, lights, household chemicals, etc. In the evening, the staff will come out here and go through everything to make sure that it is sorted properly. That's what this gentleman is doing right now. But that's not what we're looking at. Oh geez, I'm eating up to two minutes. 
Oh, I'm gonna make a liar of myself. All right, so here is the entrance to my complex. Door is open. All right, so I've just exited my compound and let's go right to the left here. Here we have got a fresh fruit and vegetable market. Everything you can want, wonderful fruit, nice and cheap inside. Then we've got this amazing place here. This is called Chendama, which is Big Money Mama. Now, this is a really, really cool idea. If you want the freshest food possible, this is where you come. It is only fresh food here. It is produce and meat. And the interesting thing about this place is if you come in the morning, you're gonna get super fresh produce uh, or meats. However, if you come throughout the day, at seven o'clock, the prices start to go down. At seven o'clock, it goes down to 50%. 7.30, 8, 8.30, 9, 9.30, 10, all the way to 11.30 at night, the price keeps dropping. So that by the end of the night, you're getting a 90% discount. It's almost like gambling, because you can come later and get the bigger discounts and pay a lot less for food. However, a lot of that food is going to be gone. So you can either pay full price and come earlier in the day and get the full uh, freshest produce possible or you can take your chances and come in the evening and see what they have left very very neat idea so there we go so there's one there's two fresh produce meat grocery stores right outside the door to my complex but we're not done I told you there were five so let's go and take a look now right across the street over here <clears throat> there is another supermarket no traffic at this time of day. It's 3.30 in the afternoon, so everybody's either working or sleeping. So over on this side of the street, we've got another supermarket that is currently closed. Now, this supermarket was great. They had a lot more frozen food, a lot more selection of things like pots and pans, dishes, soaps, things of a truly household nature. You can see it actually even says supermarket there. However, they just closed down last week and I'm not sure if it is for renovations or if they just decided to move on. I can guarantee you, however, a location of this size with the facilities, with buildings like this right above it, it will reopen again very, very soon because this is a gold mine. There are people that will come shopping here for fresh food and produce. So at the moment it's closed down, but I'm still gonna count it. If we continue over this way, we have a 24 hour convenience store. Inside we have two more convenience stores, but we're not looking for convenience stores, are we? I told you produce, groceries, stuff that I can cook and eat every single day. So we've run across three now and I'm literally not a minute's walk outside my complex. So I probably passed the two minute mark already, but I've already hit three spots. So let's keep going and see what else I can find. Don't get hit by cars. I'm gonna take my chances and make this guy stop. I'm recording anyway, so <laughs> go for it, buddy. All right, <clears throat> so we've got a dumpling store, we've got Sai Niao. Sai Niao is where we pick up our packages. I go there on a daily basis. Another interesting thing is we've got a pharmacy right here. We've got a cough, got a cold, got an ache, got a pain go in here and they will hook you up so let's keep going all of these little places here are shops to come restaurants to come including this building here this is the main it used to be the sales office for the complex i live in now <clears throat> as you can see there are a lot of entranceways and doors along here these will eventually be renovated and turned into Restaurants, grocery stores, pharmacies, hardware stores, you name it. These will all become businesses. And this internal area here that they've got blocked off because they're doing construction inside will become a little mini neighborhood mall. All right, let's keep going. This is the 
main entrance to the building that I live in now. Very lovely, landscaped. As you can see, there is a security office there with a security guard that is there 24 hours a day. You do require a key card to get in for a very good reason. <clears throat> the security guard will let you in, of course, if you don't have your key. They do have uh, facial technology as well, so if you are a regular tenant there, they scan your face in and then you can go in. Here we've got another brand new convenience store that just opened up, but that's not what we're looking for. Here's my favorite little produce store. We'll come back to this one. But again, we have a small array of drinks and dry goods, but this is mostly meat and produce. We'll take a look in a minute. Another little pharmacy here for any of your ills that you have. And then this makes number five, yet another fresh fruit and produce store. Wonderful place. The prices are very cheap. The ladies are very nice. You can go inside and they will let you sample pretty much anything. So there you go. Five little grocery stores where I can get fresh produce, fresh meat, fresh supplies, cooking oils, things like that, right here in my neighborhood. And that's not even one of the big supermarkets. The big supermarket, as I said, is a five minute walk away. If you see that building off in the distance straight ahead, that's where that one is. And it's got everything. It's got a huge array of frozen goods, of uh, household goods, dry goods, bulk goods, plus an amazing selection of produce and meat. But we'll look at that another day.